Um, there's one bit of Test Match special we haven't actually mentioned Blur so far. It was hailed by Radio 5 Live listeners uh, as the best ever piece of commentary on the radio, which is odd because it wasn't commentary. We know it as the leg over. <laughs> and I expect most of you know it as well. And um, what was going on at the, in the commentary box that day? The, the whole incident hinged on a piece of cricket where uh, Curtly Ambrose bowled a bouncer at uh, Ian Botham, who uh, went to hook, but then realised that the thing was just a bit too close for him, to him, for the stroke. So he tried to pull out of it. We well, did pull out of it, but he lost his balance and uh, tried, then he realised he was about to step on the stumps, so he actually tried to vault the stumps backwards and just brushed a bale off with his inner thigh. Now, we had uh, in Test Match Special a new cricket correspondent, because uh, in 1991, just appointed a young man called Jonathan Agnew. What, what happened to him? <laughs> Anyway, he, he'd, he'd just He's come into the, into the team. And uh, we, uh, sometime after this incident, he was visiting the press box, uh, uh, talking to his mates up there, and, and he met the correspondent of The Sun, who was regretting the fact that as he wrote for a family newspaper, The Sun, <laughs> he, um, he couldn't use the line that he'd just thought of, which was that both of them couldn't quite get his leg over. So Agus stored this away in the back of his mind and thought he might just possibly have a chance to use it, didn't know. He was, after all, in his first year in the Test Match Special Team, so he ought to have been on his best behaviour. Um, and I, all unknowing, as the producer, had put on, because Agus was, was operating in his first year as an expert summariser, because I was easing him into the job, and he wasn't doing the full descriptive ball-by-ball -ball, uh, part of the job. So for the close of play, I put him on with Brian Johnston to sum up the day's play. You know, Johnners would sort of talk about each incident and the expert would give his view on what had happened. And this particular thing, they'd just about got through it. We'd almost escaped. And just as an afterthought, Agus threw in, yes, couldn't quite get his leg over. <laughs> Johnners gave a little hiccup. <laughs> He then, he always maintained later that for the next 30 seconds, he was more professional than at any other time in his career. <laughs> Sadly, it was only for 30 seconds. <laughs> and while this 30 seconds was going on, I was trying to uh, get people to lean back in their seats. He had Bill Friendle on his right, who was a terrible giggler, uh, and I think cannot have quite heard or believed what he did here, because otherwise he'd have snorted, and he didn't. He was busy filling in his score sheets. And, and I got him to lean back so he didn't catch Jonas's eye, and Agus, who was already chuckling away to himself, <laughs> got him to lean back. And Jonas was forward with his elbows on the desk, and I thought, we might just get away with this. No chance. <laughs> and when Jonas said, oh, Agus, do stop it, <laughs> he said it... Quite seriously, and, and sotto voce, and I knew at that point we were not going to get away with it. We were lost, and he was lost. And then the handkerchief came out, the tears ro rolled down his cheeks. And the, I'm told that on a very good quality recording, you can hear me in the background saying, for God's sake, somebody say something. LAUGHTER 